this may be a different way of thinking about the tabernacle for some of you, but I find it helpful and I think that you would too. Think of the tabernacle as a mobile Mount Sinai. So here's some correspondences between those. Just like all the people were to stay at the very base of the mountain, so all the people are supposed to stay in the court of the temple. And just like only Moses went up to the very peak of the mountain where God had located himself, where God spoke to him, so only the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies. And that's where the glory cloud located itself. So think about taking Mount Sinai with God at the top as the Holy of Holies, and then the people at the very bottom, like the courts, and turn that mountain on its side, there you have the tabernacle. So the peak of Sinai now becomes the Holy of Holies, and that's where God is, and that's where he travels with his people. Now, this way of thinking about the connection between the tabernacle and Sinai also becomes very helpful and very encouraging to us because if you go to the very end of Revelation, you have John on a very high mountain, and what comes down from heaven? The New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem that is shaped like a cube just like the Holy of Holies was. Except, who's allowed in the New Jerusalem? Just one person, the high priest? No. All of us believers, all of us who have the status of high priest, are welcomed into the Holy of Holies on top of the mountain where we dwell in the presence of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever in our resurrected and glorified bodies. That is what we all await as Christians.